Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of SKM Outdoors. And today, I'll be showing you how I set my winter trout rig. And for those of you that are new here, can you please press the subscribe button below? I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Alright guys, let's dive right into it. So first off, I got the Mr. Crappie Master from Walmart for only about $20. You don't need any good rod or reel to catch these kind of fish. My line, what I'm using, is a 4-pound test. I mean, you could risk using 6-pound, but most winter fish are finicky. And we're talking about not quite iced over yet. Some cases, just very cold weather. Late fall, early winter, that's what we're talking about today. Alright guys, first things first, we're going to get a little egg sinker or teardrop sinker and put it up about a foot and a half above the line. These fish here, they're more finicky as you can say, and they'll probably take the bait a bit, especially if you're using a still bait like power bait, corn, bread, anything like that. They're going to take it a bit and kind of just chew on it. And if they feel any resistance, you know, they're just, they're just going to probably drop it. Alright guys, we got that sinker on there. And we're not going to tie any knots to it or anything, but we're going to get this weird bead thing, you know, really light, nothing big. That way, the sinker can slide through it, and it will stop at a certain point, but the fish can pull it on. But anything, something I noticed is these BBs are the same size as these airsoft BBs right here. So I'm going to try to shoot one real quick. Don't try this at home. So I got me that bead, and... I'm gonna shoot it, so I'm. Oh, uh, yeah, that shot. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, guys, that whole airsoft thing worked out, anyways, but I kind of lost a bead, but I got you guys covered since I'm just gonna use an airsoft BB and not, like, pull it through or feed it through. I'm just gonna pretend that it should work out well. So, anyway, guys, after you have it up about a foot and a half, you're gonna thread your BB onto the line. All the way up to the sinker. Okay. Now what you guys are going to do. Is you're just going to cut the line. Right where that red bead is at. Alright now guys. Since you have that bead. On. And you cut the line off. You should have. Just this little nub right here. Now what you're going to do. With that bead still. In between the sinker and the swivel. Put a swivel, preferably smaller sized, on for less weight and less pull, and thread it and tie it on to the sinker. Alright guys, now that you tied it onto the swivel, you take your access, remember to keep that, what you do is make sure your BB is in between the two swivel lines and the sinker. That way the sinker won't bump on to the swivel and ruin the knot and make it weaker. So now what you're going to do is you're going to get what's left of the line you cut off, about a foot and a half. And you're just going to tie it onto the end of the swivel. Now guys, that your swivel is tied on and you tied on the access to the other side of the swivel, your rig so far should look like this. No hook, no anything just yet. Now guys, here's the hook. I think this is a size 6. It's a black octopus hook. It's made for catching carp, walleye, and trout. Like, you know, those kind of species from deeper water. And anyways, so this is a bit big for the kind of fishing. For trout anyways. Stock trout at least we're going to be fishing for, but it's the best I have. Sometimes it's good to use a size 8 or 9. And now we're going to just thread it on and tie it. I'm doing a clinch knot, one loop, two loops, three, four, five, and six. Now you leap and loop it whole through. Close it. You can spit on it if you want. And you should get 
something like this once you close it. And now what we do is we tighten it by pulling hard on it, not too hard. You can sometimes use your nail to kind of pull down the knot if it's not secured in yet. Just kind of. It should look like something like this. And now you're pretty much done. What we need to do now is we need to trim off the access. Just like that. Now, guys, the best bait and strategy you can use as this rig is clump on some sweet corn onto it or just ball up some power bait or bread, cast it into a hole, close the bale, and just wait for something to bite it. When you're finished, your rig should sort of look like this, except with the bead in between the sinker and swivel. Thank you guys for watching, and have good luck out there. Thank you.